Hi everyone, I'm Francisco. So um, I'm a research engineer at Facebook and I work on PyTorch and more particularly in Torch Vision. And that's gonna be the subject of my talk today. So the first thing you might ask yourself is what is actually Torch Vision? And given the other talks you have seen before, it might be something about computer vision and PyTorch. And that's actually right. So Torch Vision is a library that is built to help you experiment with computer vision in PyTorch. And there are a number of tools in there that's gonna make uh, your life easier for that task. So let's have a closer look. Um, and uh, it provides a number of different um, tools and algorithms to help you bootstrap your research and start right, right there. So that includes data sets and um, for common uh, tasks like, um, well, if you wanna get something from image natural cipher to just try out new models, they're gonna be there. If you want to start um, with a baseline model to see how much it's gonna get on your base, uh, your, on your new task, you have models pre-trained for that. And uh, we also have uh, recently re integrated in the 0 0.3 uh, release, um, which was out a few months ago, custom uh, operators that are specific to computer vision and make your life easier when you want to build some more complicated models like detections. And well, because you don't only have models and data sets, you also need to transform your data into your model so that it can be actually understood. We also provide some standard transforms that can make your life and your pipeline easier. And um, more recently in the 0.4 release, which was out today, we have also have been adding support for uh, video. So now video is a first class citizen in Torch Vision, which means that we have not only video models and data sets, but also primitives to efficiently load video uh, from disk um, uh, on the fly. So you don't need to transcode your videos anymore to a specific format or save those to uh, um, v images. You can just use the videos as you download them from the internet. And finally, for, um, well, having the models and transforms the sets is um, very helpful, but sometimes if you want to reproduce training the models, you need to have some training code for that. And the training code, we have been adding them on the reference folder in Torch Vision, that, makes, that, that means that if you want to um, reproduce a, a model or start from something uh, to your own data set or task, we have the reference models there, so that's gonna simplify your life. So let's get uh, into a bit more details on each one of those tasks. Um, so for data sets, um, it's pretty much a one-liner for the standard data sets. We can download them from the internet and um, put them somewhere, and then that's it. We have uh, a number of assets available for not only image classification, but also detection, segmentation, and now video. And that <laughs> uh, makes your life much easier when you just want to experiment on a standard task. So that's actually very helpful. Well, what else? I've mentioned transforms. And uh, the transforms is uh, uh, some function that you apply to your data just before fitting it to your model. And we provide a number of those standard functions which can be used not only to prepare the data but also to artificially increase the size of your data set because um, models can be prone to overfitting. So the more data transformations you do, uh, the less likely you, or you, can, you could be that you're overfitted to your specific systems of your data set. So if you have an image, that transformation consists of uh, basically augmenting it. But in this can be done on the fly, which helps you uh, not having to pre process that beforehand or storing lots of repeated data on disk. So, um, so what else? We have models. And uh, from the 0 0.3 release onwards, we started to actually increase the scope of tasks to not only have um, classification models, but also detection, segmentation, instant segmentation, key point uh, detection, and more recently, video. They, all of them have pre-trained weights trained on large data sets, which can uh, greatly bootstrap your research. And the goal of those models is to be easy to use. So we might not expose all the possible options there for people to experiment with, but the implementations are meant to be simple. So if you want to try out some crazy new ideas, you don't need to understand and go through a whole new set of pipelines, just copy paste a single file, and it's, pretty, it's meant to be easy to understand and to modify. So, um, we have plenty of models for each one of those tasks, but the thing is when to choose one or the over the other. Well, it depends on the application at hand. And generally there are trade-offs that you need to do, which might depend on 
the problem. So you might want, want to be willing to trade some accuracy for a faster runtime. So that's something that you can easily experiment with PyTorch because you can just change the line and see how the new pre-trained model uh, fares for your task and see if it's acceptable or not. And finally, uh, I've also mentioned some uh, custom operators that have been added in the 0 0.3 release. And those are there just to simplify your, your, your life, writing some models. Those are now, for the moment, specific to uh, detection models because they have some very specific and complex um, operations. And we have provided them here to simplify your, your, your building those models that, that relies on them. So um, <laughs> what does it actually look like or mean? Um, we have models for segmentation, semantic segmentation and instant detection, which um, allows you, for example, to detect individual objects in image uh, for different classes. Uh, if you're more interested in actually how to understand the pose of people in the image, we also have a key point detection, where you detect an, an arbitrary number of people in the image with the joints so that you can inspect um, like a kinetics without the 3D um, um, inference pipeline that you have, you just inspect that from the image. And for example, for self-driving cars, you might also want to know where is the person, road, sky, so that you can take decisions on that. And that's cement segmentation models. So all of them are models that have been published in, the, uh, in top conferences, and they are available under different namespaces in Torch Vision, and you can find them there. So how do you get them? So it's pretty much just a single liner, but it all starts with the import storage vision. Um, and then you define your model, and by this, after you define the model, if you want to have it pre-trained, just pass pre-trained equals true. And in this particular case, we want to put it for evaluation, so evolve. And then load an image and feed the image into uh, the model. And this um, image should be transformed first to a format that the model ac uh, accepts, but then that's it, you just pass the image and uh, you get the model there uh, and the result and the predictions. So now, I mentioned um, pre uh, reference scripts for training your models. So we have a number of um, training scripts that allows you to start f not only from, doesn't, not only to start from scratch. You get the models, you have the training code and you just start. So you have something for, you have code for image classification which allows you to predict if uh, what's the class of an image, those models have been trained on ImageNet, so which is a very large data set of uh, images that have been around for a while and help to bootstrap research on computer vision. Um, we also have models for object detection, semantic segmentation, uh, which have been trained, pre-trained on COCO. Uh, the same thing for key point detection. And uh, finally, for video classification that we have been recently added in the 0 0.4 release out today, we have action uh, recognition from videos. So you can you have 400 classes that have been trained um, on Kinetics 400, and we have a few pre-trained models there, and you can choose uh, as before if you want accuracy or speed. And well, as before, seven segmentation trained also on Coco, and uh, that's it. We have a few tutorials online on the, on the PyTorch uh, tutorials webpage, and if you want to try it out, uh, just go to this link. This is going to point you to the tutorial on object detection, and I uh, hope you have fun.